You are looking at OverUnity 39 in my invention. Uh, I'm going to try, I'm trying different things like this. Um, as you notice, I uh, tried a little bit thicker wire. It's uh, 20 gauge. And um, some of these other three coils back there are uh, 22 gauge. This is 20 gauge. He's, uh, I kind of like hooked them in series with this back one here coil this back coil and this front coil what I'm thinking about doing is stacking them uh, let me show you the readouts on this uh, getting it's a 10 and a half load as you can see and it's putting out uh, almost uh, Almost one amp. You go over to the bolt. Putting on close to five volts here. And that's going to be as far as voltage is all set. So I'm pushing out approximately five amps. And you see when I stop, it goes back down. So what I hooked them in series and stuff like that is what I did, like I said, I put this 20 amp wire and I got that 22 in the back here, the back corner one. And I'm just doing that to show you that, uh, that he's hooking them in parallel down here, those wires. I got other wires that aren't hooked up here. I'm just hooking up in this wire over here on this one isn't hooked up either. So he's just hooking up the two and what I was thinking about doing is stacking them. <clears throat> uh, the coils and that, like this right here. See how this is stacked? It's got, this has got like three of them. I'm going to try like two of them at <clears throat> one inch apart and, and see if I can get that. Uh, <clears throat> Let me show you a little demonstration here. This is, this is part of the patented technology I have. Uh, this is one of the coils I made up and that. Watch when I put this magnet hang on down here. One second. Whoops, it's the wrong way. Flip it out the other direction. Okay, as you can see, this, this, it takes very little to push it because there's a magnet down in here. And then there's like a double coil thing right here. And then a space in between the magnets. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to build a magnet and coil that's double stacked. So that way, if I get five watts now, instead of three and a half or two and a half watts, I, if I get five out of each one with the same four in here, watch, I'll fire this back up and let it drop about two in. Five volts, roughly. So if I get five watts out of this double stack, I'm going to have to move, do a little bit of design changes. I'm going to have to move this out just a little bit so it's more, these are going to be down more vertical when I get done with it. And it'll be all right because it's, I got to pull this out. I got to do some design changes. But what he wants to do is double stack these things inside of here. And, that, and then that way it'll work. So that's my whole idea is is because it's not going to take much to take this down inside here see and I can just barely push it with my finger. 
that's the whole idea behind it because it's it's repelling down inside here it's got magnets and the idea is to get this other coil to, to stack the coils in that and, and what I did was as you notice I put this up on stilts here see how much higher that thing's sitting up it's way up in the air I can also get underneath here and adjust things and move things around as I want uh, and then that, that's what my plan is so basically I gotta move these out there's adjustments and stuff I can make and it's all adjustable and then make these little bit of changes try a double stack coil down inside here so if I'm getting five watts out of each one of these that would be and this is at 40 4 amps at 12 volts you know you're pushing almost 40 percent efficiency at that point so that's my point right here I'm going to try that out I'm going to see how it goes I don't know if I got to put a combination of you know like you know this uh, 22 gauge and 20 gauge together it seems like the higher the gauge the better it easier it is to wrap and it's easier to do that uh, I noticed that uh, also I got a I'm going to st stack all these and then when I rebuild this other unit over here I'm going to be able to stack those two right now I'm just trying to work with this concept prototype this is the commercial one over here I'm gonna, I haven't gotten around to building that yet but it's it's going to have uh, I'm going to see if I can get it to run on you know the four amps and run a lot more of them out here. This one right here, I'm just, if I get that at 40%, that means I'm heading towards what I want. Uh, basically, I want to get hit. Your, if you take a look at your typical generators that you buy in the store, you know there's like 746 watts in a horsepower, and you're roughly getting 400 watts each one. So if you figure that out, that's about 55% efficiency your typical generator puts out that you buy in the store that runs on gasoline powered. We're talking that one. I don't know what the power plants are. We're not going to get into that. But what I'm trying to show is I'm trying to get the efficiency up. A lot of people are crying about the efficiency. Okay, we'll go that direction. I have no problem. This is why I'm talking it out with you people. You know, you're my friends and stuff. A lot of people looking at it, you know. Uh, I think it could be something that could be actually really revolutionize things. I do hate nuclear power with a passion, and that's what the whole thing is behind this. I do not like nuclear power whatsoever, and I'm trying to come up with a better technology for powering our needs and keeping the planet clean as possible. I'm going to keep. Uh, working with it Nat uh, I just got up but uh, as soon as I can I, I'm just going to show you another experiment too right here real quick I'm just going to run it off this uh, this 20 uh, the 21 and show you what's going to happen here putting out almost uh, 1 point, almost 1.3 amps now if I go for the voltage on this 20 gauge wire Let me show you what happens. Okay, and I gotta switch this over to here. Okay, they're all it's all set. Fire it up. One point six four. So now I could uh, hook it up to this other one over here.
on this back one. Fire it up. So it seems like if I hook the one the other ones together, it just kind of like drags it down. So you need something with the amperage and stuff. I'm not quite sure. Uh, <clears throat> if the double stack it with the 20 gauge wire or the or a combination of the 20 and the 22 gauge. But as you can see, this probably takes anything to push that. I can, and these are stacked in here like this. These will be stacked similar to this right here. He's had different wires. Believe it or not, if it goes part way through this at different spots, it does uh, create a voltage. Each one of these, these would this varied all the way through it. Uh, it seems like the ones that enter in and out completely seem to have a better uh, voltage going on. The ones that don't, uh, he's been testing all kinds of things in that, and it seems like the magnets in the bottom help it so I could stack it. So what I'm trying to do is get as many watts as I can per thing before I start rebuilding the other unit in that, because it doesn't make sense until I get this concept unit done and just go ahead and start doing that and then start keep changing it over and over again because that's a lot of work to change that concept unit where I can make uh, the, the, the tests on this one much easier and that so I, I'm just kind of like showing you but like I said it like like I said this thing it just doesn't take much at all I mean I could stack that up maybe three times or whatever I mean it doesn't matter I'll just put like a little gap in between these in each magnet. So that's the whole idea behind that. I'll be able to I'll do this experiment and see if it comes out right. You know, I got a lot of naysayers out there. Oh, it's not going to work. You're you're just crazy. I'll tell you what. This guy right here, everybody thought he was crazy too. Steve Jobs, everybody thought he was a nutcase in that. You know, but he was a very successful genius in changing our world and that. He talked about things. He was the owner of iPod. I mean, uh, Apple. He invented the iPod. And everybody thought he was a nutcase. People didn't quite understand him. As you can see, they got like a devil here and an angel thing up on top. And it says, you know, Buddhist genius, tyrant, jerk, and cautionary tale. But the, the, he was a very good example of when people get are really smart in that and people don't quite understand it. They don't, you know, nobody came close to this guy lately in a long time in that. So I'm not really comparing myself up to him, but you know, usually people think weird things of people who are really smart. This is project is just a little bit more beyond what most people even begin to start with YouTube and that. I'm going to tell you that much right now. I mean the way this is all machined out and all the gearing and all this put together and all these components. I mean in somebody's house it's a little bit overwhelming. I mean this isn't done by a company. This is done by one individual. And that's what you got to understand. You're not comparing me. And I don't think anybody could do any better. I don't see anybody out there that has anything. But I think it could tap into low energy sources. And it could be a way of helping places like Japan getting off of their nuclear power. I'd like to help them out. You know, they could tap into the ocean currents and get rid of their nuclear power in the future. I'll let you go. I'll have some more demonstrations when I get it going. Goodbye.